Dawn White with Penn Live here, part two of the story. You can see I'm here at the Under Armour Performance Center, the inside field in Owings Mills, Maryland. The Marching Ravens, the band, they are practicing for three hours in preparation for the, the Bills game on Sunday. And three of the members who are all from York County, we have Jeremy, Richard, and Noah. So first, starting off with Jeremy, uh, where are you from and how did you get into music? Uh, I'm from Hanover, Pennsylvania. Uh, I got into music, uh, I must have been four or five years old. Mom signed me up for piano lessons, um, grew into school, you know, taking piano lessons, uh, picked up the saxophone, um, going into high school, started at the drum line and fell in love. Been playing uh, percussion ever since. So you play percussion. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved with the Marching Ravens? Um, my percussion instructor from high school actually had some ties in with the Ravens and he asked me to come out and that was four years ago and I've just stuck with it ever since and I love every second of it. What do you like the most about the experience? Um, being able to perform. Uh, you know, that was definitely one thing I missed graduating high school um, be, and like on such a large scale too, being able to go out and perform at a you know, a professional football stadium in front of thousands and thousands of people. It's, it's a great feeling. So you practice together three hours a week and before the game. How do you prepare on your own time? Um, definitely takes a lot of work outside since we do get those three hours a week to, you know, sometimes week to week, to, you know, a halftime show to another halftime show. Um, you know, you just got to move your personal schedule around and make room for it. It's a lot of dedication, you know, on and off the field, definitely. Okay. And then, Richard, what instrument do you play and where are you from? I play the saxophone. I am from uh, Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. How did you get involved with the Marching Ravens? Um, it was 11 years ago. I knew someone that worked here. Um, his name was Wally. He actually was a paramedic for us at the time. He, uh, kept, he, was, a he was a family friend and he kept uh, talking to me about joining the band. And so one year I did and I've been here ever since. What's the most interesting part for you with being part of the marching band? Um, well, it's very interesting. Like, you... <laughs> Guys, I've been here for so long. Um, it's performing in front of a bunch of... Pe uh, as many people as we do. Um, it's exciting. Each, each year is something different, and I, I just... I have something I can do after high school with uh, music. <laughs> And a lot of people might have the misconception that the Marching Ravens are the cheerleaders. That's all you do. You, you all pretty much have <laughs> second jobs, correct? Yes. <laughs> um, my second job, I work retail. Um, basically, I think the current job I've been at, it's three years, but that's what I do. I'm a supervisor. Then. And what do you do in your free time to prepare for this musically, the formations as well? Yeah. Um, now, for the formations, after doing it so long, it kind of comes naturally, but I do, uh, at least every time before a performance or even before rehearsal, I do look at the charts to see where I'm supposed to go. It helps me at least remember, so at least I know where I'm going. Um, musically, I practice about an hour each night, and yeah, it just helps. <laughs> and then Noah, what instruments do you play, and where are you from? I play trombone and viola. Um, I'm from York. PA. I'm near Emmigsville. Um, I started music in my third grade at Central York with the viola and then next year in fourth grade I picked up the trombone and I've just been going ever since. What would you say is the most interesting part of being on the band and also the most challenging part? I'd say the most interesting part for me um, is being able to march past high school and college. Um, I went to see my college IUP. I went to see their marching band at Allentown during the Collegiate Marching Band Festival last October, um, or late September, I can't really remember. Uh, and I just remember having this feeling that I wasn't marching anymore, and it was just kind of this really uh, melancholy, melancholic feeling in my heart. And then a couple weeks later, I got a notice that I could audition for the band, and so I decided to come out. Um, and um, it's just, I'm really glad to march now, and continue marching even past high school and college. I think the most difficult thing is that we only get three hours a week, and so whereas in college we got two hours every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, now we only have three hours a week to put all of this stuff on the field at a professional NFL game, so we have to kind of really work hard and really focus during these rehearsals. 
And how does it make you feel when you're playing on the field and the fans are getting all excited and energetic because of what you all are doing? It It's a weird feeling because you... The first time I marched, it didn't really register that I was playing on an NFL field and I was playing in front of NFL fans and was being televised and being seen on TVs across the nation at some point. Um, but you kind of get over that like awestruck feeling after a little bit. It's still really awesome. Um, it's I've never felt anything like it in the world in marching band. Uh, it's definitely really unique and really cool. Okay, well thanks for you all for joining us and you can check out more about this story on penlive.com. There will be a print article and have a great weekend.